Hello guys, welcome again to the another After Effects tutorial. Today I come up with a new After Effects tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I will show you how I made glitch effect. So it's uh, interesting and easy. Further if you feel any problem you can ask me in comment section below. So if you didn't subscribe my channel till now, do subscribe my channel and so let's get started. First of all guys, uh, this window will help you what I am typing and clicking. So after opening After Effects taking composition of 1920 by 1080 name it main and uh, duration would be 5 seconds, hit ok. Now uh, bring image from your computer to After Effects. Take new composition for the image placeholder. Hit OK. Drag the image into it. Now go to uh, main composition and drag the image placeholder into it. Take new shape layer and uh, pre compose it. Name it Glitch. Hit OK. Go into it. Select the shape layer one and uh, fill should set to be solid. Stroke should set to be none and uh, select the rectangle tools from the tools panel and draw a rectangle like this and this again guys here is one thing you need to uh, note that I made two uh, rectangle shapes in a same shape layer so don't forget to do that so select the selection tool and uh, adjust its position Now go to uh, main and take new adjustment layer, go to effects, distort and select the displacement map. Now uh, drop down its uh, displacement map layer and select the glitch tool. Uh, disable this glitch and uh, decrease its uh, max vertical displacement value to 0 and uh, increase its max horizontal displacement to maybe 90 now you can see that we have a really nice and simple glitch effect add keyframe here on zero frame move forward in time by one second add another keyframe for max horizontal displacement with zero value now guys uh, We need to take text, pre compose it, name it text placeholder, hit OK, go into it, double click on it, and write whatever you want to adjust its size. Now guys, uh, for center anchor point, hold the control key and double click on pen behind tool. Now it is in the center. Now align it. If you don't see the option here, align, go to window and select the align. Okay, now guys, uh, we need to animate uh, this text. Simply drop down its property, go to animate, select the opacity, go to add property and select the rotation. Now drop down, uh, no, uh, decrease its uh, value of opacity to 0, increase its rotation to maybe 50, drop down its uh, property of range selector 1, move back on 0 frame, add keyframe for start, move forward by 1 second and uh, increase its value with 100. Go to main. And now uh, we need to 
take new shape layer, pre compose it and uh, name it glitch 2. Hit OK, go into it, select the shape layer 1 and draw a shape like this. Now go back to main, select the text placeholder, go to effects, distort and select the displacement map. Now uh, in the uh, drop down the displacement map layer and select the glitch tool and uh, disable the glitch tool and decrease uh, its max ve uh, vertical displacement to zero and increase the max horizontal displacement to maybe 70 yep and now guys uh, what we gonna do now as you can see that we have a black uh, window here so simply select the uh, image placeholder and hit S for scale hold shift and press P for position now move back on a zero frame add keyframe for scale increase its value by 15 and total uh, 115 add keyframe uh, for position and decrease its uh, value like this or maybe 900 yep cool okay now move forward by one second and add another keyframe for scale by decrease its value to 100 and uh, change its position by 960 okay now uh, guys select all this composition hit U to see all these keyframes and uh, select the uh, select all these keyframes go to graph editor and uh, guys if you don't see this graph like this simply right click on it and select the edit speed graph and now change its graph like this now guys we need to add keyframes for the text so simply select the text go back on uh, zero frame add keyframe for max uh, horizontal displacement move forward by two seconds and decrease its value to zero now uh, select the text placeholder hit u from keyboard and uh, select both these keyframes easy is them go to graph editor and change its graph like this yep now hit zero for rendering and let's see now guys uh, you can see that we have really simple and nice glitch effect So guys, uh, it's really easy and uh, simple glitch effect. Actually, I, I was busy in uh, another project, so I couldn't make a long project. So uh, I try my best to come up with a new and long uh, After Effects tutorial. So bye for the next video. Thank you.